Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon, not here with Geeky Sparkles in this video. She will be back later today or tomorrow. We're going to talk about Justin Roiland. Remember, remember that whole situation where he was accused of uh, uh, abuse and uh, the charges got dropped? Well, he didn't get his jobs back. So we're going to we're going to talk about uh, kind of a crappy way that they're replacing him in Solar Opposites. Now, full disclosure, I, I don't watch Solar Opposites. I, I really don't care about Solar Opposites that much. But the way that they're replacing him, uh, I watched that clip is is kind of kind of crap because they're just it's such a dismissive way uh, to get rid of this guy when he co-created the show, right? So they're just going to replace him everywhere. Even though he's been cleared of charges, they're going to replace him. And again, you know, going back to the videos we where we talked about the situation, it, it does seem to me that there were people in the industry that had other grievances with Royland and they were just using this situation to finally get rid of them. That's my personal opinion, you know, and I, I can't vouch for some of the other stuff people have said about uh, underage shenanigans and all that. I, I don't know. I don't know. I just know in this specific case, uh, he was accused of abuse and the charges were dropped and it does look like they're just dropping him from everything he's worked on, even even shows he helped uh, co-create. So that's, you know, that's just kind of how it works, unfortunately. Um, and I don't know where he goes from here. You know, a lot of people in the animation are probably like, we don't care. Uh, my personal feelings, again, reading between the lines based on some of the comments made by uh, associates of his co-workers is that uh, there's this feeling that it's very unfair that he has multiple shows and there are other people that don't have any shows and they're working underneath him. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, it does seem like there's a little bit of pettiness going on. I've never worked with him. I don't know him. I've never met him, never talked to him, but from the outside, it looks like there are some people that are just legit jealous of the success this guy has had and they're looking for a way to take him down. And this was the uh, vehicle for that. Oh, hey, he was accused of abuse. Okay, everybody, fire him off of everything. Fire him off of everything. So we're going to talk about this. We're going to talk about how they're replacing him with Dan Stevens. Yeah, British <laughs> British Dan Stevens on Solar Opposites. Now, I, I like Dan Stevens. Uh, I do. But the way they did it is just so ridiculous and flippant. And I'm like, yeah, they're going to do the same thing on Rick and Morty, too. You know, they might not even bother getting a sound alike. Dan Stevens is not doing a Justin Roiland impression at all. Uh, he's He sounds just like himself, just more British, if you can imagine that. So um, anyway, before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Um, your support is greatly appreciated. I'm not going to give any woohoos. I'm not good at woohoos. That's, that's Geeky's thing. This is uh, Screen Rant. Solar Opposite Season 4 successfully mocked Justin Roiland's exit. Now, again, to go back to the situation, he was accused of abuse and uh, he was still kept on all of his shows, you know, even with those allegations coming out. But then as the, uh, the trial date got closer, everybody decided to fire him. You know, uh, he was fired off of Rick and Morty. He was fired off of Solar Opposites. Uh, he basically lost control of things he helped create. And the charges were dropped in March, but it doesn't matter. They've already decided they're not going to use them. And he put a statement on Twitter saying he's hoping to uh, kind of rebuild his life after getting canceled. Anyway, uh, let's go back to Solar Opposites. Uh, the season four trailer has addressed Justin Roiland's replacement and the show proved that Rick and Morty season seven can do the same. I don't think Rick and Morty fans are going to be uh, going to be on board with this one. Uh, Solar Opposite season four replaces Justin Roiland. It was a major controversy. The Hulu series already acknowledged the change with a clever meta joke. Solar Opposites might not be as popular as Rick and Morty, but the Hulu series has a loyal fan base. Yeah. And how are they going to react to this? That viewership was thrown into disarray when the news of Justin Roiland's firing was announced. Roiland voiced Corvo in Solar Opposites seasons one through three. When allegations of domestic abuse against the actor emerged, the show's creators parted ways with Roiland and replaced the actor, much like Rick and Morty's creators did during production of season seven. Um, well, Rick and Morty and Solar Opposites will both continue. Solar Opposites was the first of the two shows to address the controversy. It's owned by Disney. 
It's a Disney thing. It's on Hulu. So yeah, of course, of course. Solar Opposites Season 4 will be released in August. Uh, so, I mean, again, they had to make that decision before charges were dropped. Uh, even before Royland's dismissal, the production process of Rick and Morty was notoriously slow, taking multiple years to complete a season. Uh, they talk about just Rick and Morty, Dragon, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So here's, here's, here's what happens. Basically, he gets uh, stabbed in the neck with a dart, and his voice changes. It's, it's kind of ridiculous. Now, I don't know if this is, I don't know if this is Royland or a sound alike or what. I'm going to turn the audio on. I'm going to run a, a couple of seconds of this Disney. This is, uh, this is fair use. This is fair use. It's for commentary purposes. Are famous stars. Whatever Corvo doesn't know won't hurt him. Watch this. Alright. Alright, so this is how they change it. I told you not to throw metal around here. And there it is. What the hell? <laughs> This is working for me. All right, chop, chop. Let's what? Move on. I hate being late. It makes me feel hot and weird. You make me feel hot and weird. What was that? Okay. And uh, just like that, just like that, he was replaced. You know, that's it. I mean, on a comedy show like this, you can do it. But again, it uh, you know, sucks in the fact that he was cleared of those charges. They dropped all charges. And they still replaced him on the show. And then they were so flippant about it. You know, I guess, how else do you do it, though? You can't exactly have, I, well, I guess you could. You can have a sound of light come in, but still, it's it's kind of ridiculous. Uh, Corvo sounds British now. Deal with it, according to Mashable. Deal with it. The clip dives into the exposition forward opening sequence with Stevens taking over Corvo's verbose monologue, explaining the premise of the show and adding new lines, hand-waving the voice change. This is what my voice sounds like now. I don't care if it's jarring. Get over it, he declares. And that voice changer Ray had chronotons. So this is what I'll sound like in flashbacks from now on, too. If you've got a problem with that, then tough shit. It's called science. <laughs> God, seriously, like you're retroactively canceled forever. Uh, then they go into the drama. Royland was fired from multiple productions and roles after felony domestic violence charges since dropped, since since dropped, I gotta zoom in on that. Since dropped and reports of inappropriate behavior came to light earlier this year, Royland's fondness for meta storytelling, where any rule can be broken, any plot point retconned, or anything just changed for any reason, if it's funny or necessary, has made it remarkably easy for the switch to be made. That is that is kind of true, uh, and fan complaints to be preempted. As for Rick and Morty, which Royland co-created with Dan Harmon and also voiced both titular roles, his recasting was only just officially confirmed and no replacement has been named yet. I would not want that role. There is no way in hell knowing the Rick and Morty fan base. I would want to take that role. You do not want to be the guy who is replacing Justin Royland. You sure as hell don't want to go to any conventions and you better turn your Twitter off. That's, that's all I'm saying. I would not want to be that guy. No word on whether audition opportunities will be available to the many, many men the world over who believe they have a killer Morty impression. Uh, why would you, why would you want that gig? Why would you want that gig? You know, I mean, this is just kind of, uh, just the way it's being done is just kind of shit. In my personal opinion, again, it doesn't matter. Um, it doesn't matter if you're innocent or guilty. I mean, once you've been canceled, you've been canceled. That's kind of how it is. And I think a lot of people, you know, they're sharpening their knives. Um, they're looking to, to, uh, take out, uh, people they don't like for other reasons using cancellation. I think this is the same, same thing that happened with Johnny Depp personally. I think that, uh, Depp had some, some enemies. He had some people that had grievances. Uh, people love to see a celebrity fall. They think that, uh, you know, Somebody is at the top of their game needs to be knocked down a peg or two or three or ten, and uh, they always look for a reason. They always look for a reason. I mean, again, they bring it up here on Joe.co.uk. The charges were dismissed by a California district attorney due to lack of evidence, but further reports came to light, including one by the Hollywood Reporter, which detailed years of his allegedly troubling behavior. 
But has he been has he been arrested for any of the, those things? Yeah, this is this is that article. This is that article. Um, and I covered this one where they basically have a bunch of people who work in the animation industry coming out and saying this guy is problematic. And it's the same thing happened with Vic Mignogna. There were people that had problems with Vic Mignogna for other reasons unrelated to what he was actually fired for, but they have to find a reason to get rid of you. You know, they have to find a reason, one reason. And usually once the first domino is knocked over, it just, you lose everything within days, you know, and that's what happened to Vic Mignogna. Uh, once he was fired from, I think it was Rooster Teeth. I want to say Rooster Teeth was the first first one to fire him. And then everybody else fired him too. And then he was persona non grata. Like you weren't allowed to to invite him to conventions or anything. You weren't allowed to talk to this guy. You weren't allowed to invite him to conventions. You weren't, I mean, he was just done. He was just done. And it was seemingly overnight. But really, in my opinion, uh, it, it was years in the making. And they were just waiting for an opportunity. And it's the same thing, I think, with Royland, too. I'm, I'm not saying this guy is a saint. I'm not saying this guy hasn't been a pain in the ass to work with. I have no idea. But what I'm saying is his underlings probably have been planning this for quite some time, uh, you know, looking for a reason to get rid of him. And when the opportunity presented itself, they stuck the knife in. And then they made sure that he wasn't allowed back into the uh, the animation community anymore, because you know we need to have more we need to have more uh, animated series like the ones that uh, Netflix has been green greenlighting that get canceled after a handful of episodes. You know, um, some of them so bad they get purged off the platform, like on HBO Max. You know, all this uh, all this Tumblr stuff. But uh, that's it. I mean, this guy was bankable. He was successful. And uh, they don't like them. They don't like them. Again, never worked with them, but just saying it's kind of shit how they did it, in my opinion. And this is going to continue. They're just going to hand wave it. I don't think it's going to go well with Rick and Morty, though. I got to be honest. I think that Rick and Morty fans are a completely different breed. And I do not think it's going to go very well for them. Uh, this one, maybe you can get away with because not as many people watch it, but... I don't know. I could be wrong. I'm going to wrap it up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's thereef.support.